Let's talk to Clem Chambers, the founder of ADVFN. Very good morning to you, Clem. Good morning to you, Nick. Right, England won at cricket, at rugby, at football. I think we've won the uh, Formula One. OK, in terms of the stock markets, I see they've sort of marked down half percent. Obviously, Mr Trump tweeting again, uh, trade wars. I read that BNP Paribas were talking about a trade war could lead to a 50 percent correction in the stock markets. And just to wrap it all up, Bitcoin below 6,000 bucks, first time since February. What's going on in the world? Well, we're in a, in a gigantic bear market, bear market for equities, bear market for Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, I think the crypto bear market will be a fairly um, bit deeper, a lot more to go, I think, but will come back a lot faster than the equity markets. Um, you know, I, I've been bearish pretty consistently since um, like last Christmas. And, you know, the, the, the actual stock charts and the action is really not that, you know, great. I mean, the... the English market had a really fantastic comeback, and the Nasdaq's had a great comeback, but the S&P and the Dow, not so clever, and lots of other markets, not so clever, and the emerging markets are in difficulty, and it all comes down to, I keep saying it, reverse QE, and, you know, dollar funding is being drawn out of the market by the Fed, and what's happening, which was, you know, I wasn't expecting this, but it's what's happening is the money first to go is the money in the emerging markets. So the money's being sucked out of the high risk, or what you might think of as high risk markets, and they've got a dollar funding problem, and that's really hurting them. But as this process continues on, um, that tide of money will go, um, it will, will be drawn away from more and more sophisticated markets, and in the end, will be drawn out of the US market, um, and therefore you're in this bear phase where things are you know, grinding down, spiking up. That's what a bear market is. It's a market where the tendency is down and where it spikes up, but it floats down. The tendency is down. And that's where we are. And certainly, we've been in a, in a bear and a crash situation on Bitcoin um, since um, just before Christmas. And, you know, equities are in that same kind of vein. But I do think the American markets will be kind of guarded um, over the next couple of years. So we might see a sideways um, market like we had in 2000 to 2000 and uh, 2000 and a lot, actually. That sideways market after the dot-com crash went on and on and on. And I think we'll see the same thing in America. The UK market has been so horribly weak for the last 10 years, if you look at it in comparison with other markets, that really it's almost pre, pre-crashed. So I think there's a little bit of downside support um, for the UK market. So... It shouldn't be too bad. I think that's maybe slightly wishful thinking, but that's the tack I'm on. The Fed will support the American market to give it a sideways market. So you buy the dips and you sell the rallies. And you've got to do the same in the UK, I think. OK, so what in terms of themes, we've seen OPEC and basically the supply um, increasing. In terms of commodities, the actual global economy is in quite a good place, isn't it? Europe was meant to be slowing down. The numbers suggest that it's OK. Um, are we still, are we convinced we're in the ninth innings and it's now not about the global economy? This is purely about the cycle coming to the end. I think it's over. The cycle got finished. We're in a new, completely new cycle now. Um, that um, cycle, that era, all I know is it's a new one. Um, I don't really know how it's going to pan out. I mean, I've got con- conflicting uh, signals. If you look at the NASDAQ, you'd think it was going into some sort of bubble territory. Yeah. I mean... It's really going a bit crazy there. Um, if you look at the Dow um, and you look at the S&P, you know, it's in heavy water. Um, if you look at the emerging markets, they're in trouble now, I think. And in, we're not in the last period of, of an old wave. We're in, we are already in six months into a new period, a new era, and it's an era of tightening. And that is a, an era we're going to be in for some time now, I think, because at the Final analysis, the Fed have got to, are committed to withdraw two to three trillion dollars worth of money from the market to get their balance sheet down to where they consider it to be appropriate. Well, you know, that's even at 80 billion a month, which is ramping up to in November. It's still not at the full bore reverse QE level. That doesn't come until November. So we're still ramping up to that and you're already seeing the effects. <clears throat> and they are managing that liquidity They are pumping liquidity in when the market tanks and then pulling it out again later. So they are managing 
that sort of channel, as I put it. So, you know, it's that is a new era. How is it going to pan out is the big question. I don't actually have the answer. I, I think my 60-40 guess is 60% that we're going to go sideways. We're going to get a replay of the sideways action that we had in the Dow from 2000 to 2000 and pretty much six. And remember, that sideways action had a crash in it. So, you know, it's we are kind of fragile. There's a possibility of a crash or several crashes and then rallies, and we are most likely going to go sideways. It's going to be very, very difficult for the market to go up and, and quite easy for it to go down heavily. So we are in a bear market, and that's what a bear market is. And we haven't been in a bear market since 2009 or 10, depending when you want to yeah. count the bottom of the um, dot of the of the crash so we've been in the bull markets for a decade almost well now we're in a bear and let's hope we're not going to have a decade of bear um i think we're going to have two or three years of it but you know it will pan out and um at the moment it's panning out like it's you know the market is soft or the market is weak and it's got good reason to because money's been drawn out the market and all this game these days is money flow and that money flow has been put into reverse and therefore it's going to be hard work to go up much Clem, on that note, we run out of time. Thought-provoking as always. That's Clem Chambers, the founder of EDVFN. Thanks, Clem. Talk to you same time next week.